Hey, have you ever been to the store and seen the price of a group of items but only wanted to know the price of one? Or have you ever wanted to, have you ever gotten your paycheck and wanted to know how much you made per hour? Um, these are both examples of finding the unit rate, which is something we talk about in sixth grade math. Uh, super, super simple, but somewhat intimidating sometimes um, because you're basically dividing. Uh, so a couple examples. First example is from a unit rate. First example says Tiger King is having a sale where customers can buy four new tires for $319.96. What is the cost per tire? So we're basically looking for unit rate. Um, which is the price per tire. So all you do is you take the price, $319.96, divide it by four, okay. which will look like this. So you just divide it. You guys put the price in the house, which we talked about last week. And then you put the four on the outside. You get out your calculators. We can use them for this unit. Put $319.96 in there. Divide. Okay, just like that. You guys can see that. Divide it by four. And you get $79.99 per tire. So, how much does each tire cost? $79.99. So, actually pretty cheap per tire. Um, next question, if you want to know how much you make per hour, it says if you work four hours each day for six days, you can earn $288 in all. So, how much did you earn per hour? So, you're going to take your $288. Put it in the house, and if you work 24 hours, because it's four hours a day times six, it looks like that. You divide it, put it in your calculator. So when you put it in your calculator, you get 12. So you make $12 per hour. So not pretty, not too shabby. Okay, especially if you are in high school. Okay. All right, now that we know how to find unit right, you're basically dividing, um, we're going to move on to finding the better buy. And it sounds really tough, but it's not as challenging as it sounds. Um, some of you will have seen your parents do this at the grocery store. And basically, it's where you decide which one is cheaper. Okay, so maybe we're deciding between should I buy the big box of cereal or the small box? Should I buy this brand versus that brand? Okay, so first example is says that a 12 ounce box of Thanksgiving stuffing is $2.15, while a 16 ounce box costs $2.88. What is the better buy? So basically, you're saying which one is cheaper? Okay, because you want to spend less money. So you're going to set this up the same way we set up the last thing with the unit rate. So you'll set up your two division symbols or problems. So you're going to put your cost in the house like these two did and then put the ounces on the outside. Get your calculator out and when you do that your 12 ounce box will be a weird 0.179 cents per ounce, whereas a 16 ounce box will be 18 cents an ounce. So, 12 ounce box is a little bit cheaper. Okay, so you want to buy the 12 ounce box, a little bit cheaper. Now, second problem, one more example. So you guys, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of Kroger. It's a grocery store in certain states, but Walmart sells a case of 20 more cans of soda for $6.88. Kroger sells a 12-pack 
for $3.99, which is the better buy. So set up your two division problems. So it should look like this. And after you divide with your calculator, the Walmart 24 ounce or the 24 can will be 29 cents a can, whereas Kroger, the cans will be 33 cents a can. So going to Walmart is cheaper to buy your soda per can. That's how you find it, which one's cheaper. Hey, okay, so one more way that you may see unit rates is in a ratio table, which we talked about last week. So in this example, if you guys have ever been out for fast food, gotten chicken nuggets, a lot of times you'll order sauce and the restaurants will have a specific um, number of nuggets that they, or they'll get certain number of sauce packets I'll give you per amount of nuggets. So in this case, if you have eight nuggets, they'll give you two packets versus 12 nuggets, you get three. And then if you have 24 nuggets, they'll give you six packets. So we want to know how many nuggets they give you per packet. So when we did ratio tables, if you remember, you could go a couple different ways. You go eight divided by what gives you two, 12 divided by what gives you three, and then 24 divided by what gives you six, or six times what gives you 24, three times what gives you 12, two times what gives you eight. So I had to figure out this missing number. So we know that two times four is eight, three times four is 12, six times four is 24, so, one times four is four. So for every packet of sauce, you get four nuggets. So, there's your final answer. So just one more way to show unit rate, depending on how you're most comfortable.